Good day to you, everybody. We want to continue from where we stopped, circle geometry. Don't forget I told you we have about 10 theorems here about under this same topic. So we have been taking it gradually by gradually. So today we want to move to the second theorem. But before we move to this theorem, I told you last time about the first theorem we discussed that when you have uh, a line that runs from the center of the circle to meet a chord, if per adventure you have a 90 degree at that point, that means if the line is perpendicular, then there is the line is at the same time a bisector of that chord. So the line that runs from the center to the chord if they are perpendicular, it is definitely going to be perpendicular by sector. We had few examples and class were given. So I want to appreciate those that, that sent their classworks online. We have actually trashed them out. And if you feel you, you still don't understand, or you want us to address it here, please communicate so that we can so that we can trash it here together with other students. So today. Theorem 2, this, this is a very popular theorem. When I was in secondary school, we used to say angle at the center is twice angle at the circumference. You have read that, right? <laughs> so this, this, this is the original statement. This, it says the angle which an arc of a circle subtends at the center is twice the angle the same arc subtends at the circumference. Listen again. The angle which an arc or which an arc of the circle subtends at the center is twice the angle the same arc subtends at the circumference. What does this mean? If I have an angle which an arc subtends at the center, this angle that the arc subtends at the center is two times the same angle that the arc subtends at the circumference so what are we saying if this one is 40 this is 20. no negotiation it's not negotiable it's not something you should stress yourself about so if this one is if this one is 100 obviously you don't have to calculate it this is 50. that's what they are saying we say angle at the center is twice angle at the circumference so that is how that goes and Look at this. This is the same thing. This theorem is discussing relationship between the center with the circumference. So anytime you have a center combined with its circumference, with the circumference, then you have this theorem given. It's a hint. Like a hint. So once you have x and y here, definitely if this one is 40, if, the, if this one is 40, this one is 20. It looks like, and you should be careful, it's at the center, we cannot shift, we cannot shift this center. But we can shift this point, this vertex at the, circ at, at the circumference. We can bring it here, 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 we can even bring it here. If we bring it here, we have something like, we have something like this. So don't be confused when you have a picture like this. Don't be confused. Angle at the center is twice angle at the circumference. So if this one is if this one is 45, then this one is 22 and a half. That is what the theorem is saying. So this is called angle at the center is twice angle at the circumference, provided we have the center and the circumference here. Yeah, the center and the circumference. So I have other picture of that. We can have something like something like this. We can have something like this. When we have a picture, let's see, the center, then we have this and this. This is a center. This is a circumference. Now, this can be a little bit confusing, but I need to give you a hint to this too. If you have this angle here, the direction is coming down. Note this. This one too, the direction is coming down. If you note this one too, the direction is coming down. And these two go by the direction coming down. So here as well. So if you are looking at this picture coming down, then it won't be this that you check because this one will be going up. So it is definitely this that you are talking about. So once we have this one to be 100, you know this reflex is 200. 
So don't be thinking, you can't be thinking it is this. It's, so you should relate the direction that is, is a hint anyways. It should relate the direction. So when you have a circle like this and you have uh, your center, you have this, you have this, you have this, you have this. So if this one is white, then it won't be this that is going to be too white. It will be this that will be too white. Why? This one, when you see this movement, it's coming down. It's coming down and this is coming up. Are you getting this now? So if, I mean, it's coming up, this is, position is coming up. When you draw the shape, it's coming up and this one is up, coming up. So definitely we have this one and this one. So if this one is too white, then definitely this one is white. So that is angle at the center is twice angle at the circumference. Here are some examples to work with. Let's see how it goes. Look at this question one. Anytime you have this question, of course, you are going to have a series of textbook with this picture. I would suggest you get a pencil. Then you check it yourself before you write it. You check it and scribble things out. Write, look at the theorems there from each of them. Look at the theorem there, the theorems there. Fix them out with your calculator, maybe. Then you can then write what you have. What do I mean? I think that the theorem we discussed is here. Angle at the center is twice angle at the circumference. So, in other words, if this is 65, then definitely this is going to be 65 times 2. That is 130. So my M is 130. Then you take your pencil, write 130 here. So how do I get my M? My M. I think my M is angle at the center that is twice angle at the circumference too. So I will definitely get this. Once I get this one, I will divide it by two to get this. And how do I get this? Don't forget this angle at the point. We discussed it the last time. Angle at the point. So we will take 130 from 360. Angle at the point. That will give us uh, like 230. Yes, 230. So once we have 230, then we divide it by two to get our hand. Now that is solved. How do we put it into writing? Solution. Now, we have uh, this. Angle A, this is at the point AOC. Angle AOC, which is angle M. Angle A, angle AOC, angle AOC, is it, which is equal to M, will be equal to 65 times 2. Why? Angle at the center. Is equal to two times angle. Let me write the shortcut at the circumference. So angle AOC, which is angle M, is 130 degrees. That is solved. Problem one solved. Then we move to, like we said, like like we like we have discussed earlier. We move to this reflex AOC. To go for reflex AOC now, AOC, which is going to be 360 minus 130. That is angle at a point. So we have uh, 230 degrees. That is reflex AOC. That is this one, this side. That is 230. So once we have gotten that one, we can easily get our hand because they are going in the same direction. Don't forget this one is coming down, this one also is coming down. So this one is coming up, this one also is coming up, like we have discussed. So we can have, uh, therefore, angle ABC, that is angle ABC, that is angle at B, which is equal to N, will be equal to 230 over 2. Why? Angle at the center is equal to two times angle at the circumference. So our hand will be two in two into one in three one then we have five degrees. That is that about the first question. You should be asking me, why do we have to write this? This ends mark in Wahek Neko, it is important you put it there. Of course, if it is jam, 
You don't need anything like this. All you need to do is to do it the way I did it. Then you get your answer. Don't forget, jam is an objective question. So you don't have to go through this process. But if it is in a theory like Wahek or Nepo theory question, definitely they expect you to split it out like this to hang your mark. That is that. Let's go to question two now. Question two. This. Let's 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 pick your pencil now. Let's 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 work on this again. Let's let's see what we have. Math student, you can see this going up with this one going up. So once we have this one 20, we can definitely have this one. That is that will be 240 to me. In which I think, yeah, definitely it's going to be 240. Once we have that to be 240, definitely this one will be 360 minus 240. That is, that is another 120. So this one is 120. Of course, 120 and 120 here, it is just coincidental. It's not always like that. Please note. So once we have gotten 120 here, how do we now get our Z? Look at this. This are redi. And when you have redi, this side is equal to this side. Definitely, this angle is equal to this angle. That means base angle of an isosceles triangle. We that was discussed during your plane geometry. That, that, that's on plane geometry. So we can you can remember isosceles triangles. The base angle of an isosceles triangle are equal. So once we have one twenty, then subtract it from one eighty. That is sixty. Divide sixty by two. That is thirty and thirty. So our z is thirty. So how do we, if it is jump, you get your 30, next question. But for YEC, it is not like that, especially if it is a, if it is a theory question. So we need to follow the normal protocol. How do we do that? So let's begin. This angle, that means reflex. This is a reflex AOC. This one, this reflex AOC will be equal to 120 multiplied by 2. That is angle at the center is twice angle at the circumference. So we have one that is 240 degrees. So once this is 240, then normal AOC, that is AOC, this one, AOC, that is obtuse AOC, this obtuse angle. So we will be, will be 360 minus 240 angle at a point. At a point. So we have this to be 120 degrees. If this is 120 degrees, then we say, if this is Z, this can as well be Z because they are the same thing. So we say Z plus Z plus 120 will be equal to 180 degrees. That means a triangle, sum of angle in a triangle. So we have 2Z is equal to 180 minus 120. So we have 2Z is equal to... Uh, is equal to 60, then Z will be equal to 30 degrees. Check this question out. Check the solution out. I might have to clean the board to check the third question. Or I don't have to, I can easily solve the third question here. Yeah. Yes, to the third, to the third question now, let's see. Looking at this question, this is 50. Look at this. Angle, this is angle at the circumference, obviously, and this is angle at the center. So definitely, let me come here. This is the angle at the circumference. This is the angle at the center. So there's nothing to solve here. So our A is going to be 50 times 2. That is 100. Why? Angle at the center Is equal to two times angle at the circumference. Like I said, it is important for you to write your reason so that you will hand your mark. So that is that about angle at the center is twice angle at the circumference. Let me give you classwork to do so you can. Then we'll know if you, if you actually understood what I've been saying since morning or not. Look at this. 
this is what you are going to do. It's simple. We have 52, 152 here, we have 53 here, then we have B and A. Don't forget this at the center. So you can call this one your A and B and C as the case may be. Label it if you want. Then you can solve this. This is X is starting, this is Y. This is 140, this is 4x, and this is 80. Like I said, don't forget, if you want to do, if you want to enjoy this work, get a pencil. And as those theorems are coming to your head, just tick them, tick them, and apply them once and for all. So it won't 